Hey guys, let's do a couple real quick type texts, okay? So let's go ahead and start. Let's open up our project, select our group, select our text tool, or hit the T key. Click in your canvas, and let's type germs. Let's make the size about whatever you want. There's no magic number. And I'm going to center it up here. We could even make it larger. Okay. Let's select our germs. Let's go to our inspector now. Let's take our style tab underneath the text tab. Let's select our color swatch and let's make it kind of a green color like that right there. That look okay with you guys. There's no magic color. You can make it whatever color you want. You don't even have to type germs. But the purpose of this tutorial is not necessarily to show you how to do a certain type of text, but it's to show you what the preserve opacity checkbox does. Okay. Using the preserve opacity checkbox, it's kind of quicker and simpler a lot of times than adding an image mask to your objects. So, so basically it makes the object transparent everywhere uh, where there's not something immediately below it, if that makes any sense. So instead of using a mask, I'm going to show you how to use the preserve opacity checkbox, okay? So now that we have the text that we want, the color that we want, we're going to select the group, the original group, okay? And we're going to go to the library, and under the library, the generator section, we're going to select the clouds. So let's go to library, generators, clouds, apply. And that's going to apply our clouds to our scene. Now let's go ahead and set some of the settings in our HUD here. We're going to set the vertical and horizontal scales to 11. So we'll go down here, vertical scale, 11. I'll just make it 12. Let's make horizontal scale 12. And now we're going to set our first, second, third, and fourth layer strength. This can all be adjusted to taste. It's completely up to you, okay? But the first layer, we're going to make 40. And the second layer, we're going to make 15. So the first layer, we'll make 0.40 or 0.42. The second layer, we're going to make 0.17. The third layer, we're going to make 95. And the fourth layer, we're going to make 55. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add a filter. So let's go up to Filters, Stylize, Edge Work. Okay, now we're going to get this familiar looking uh, look that we got when we was doing our last text tutorial. Okay, so now let's set the blur to zero. You can see it's on three right now. Let's set it to zero. So now let's go to the Properties tab of the Clouds. And if you'll notice, there is a preserve opacity checkbox. Okay, let's check that. And you'll see it kind of acts like a mask does. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add one more filter. Say so add filter, stylize, indent. Bingo. There we go. Let me play this back. And now you can see we kind of got a germy text. And if you want to go in here and work on your cloud layer and adjust the layer strength to make things a little more prominent, you know, it's completely up to you. Let's change our scale. Make it a little bigger. Okay. And now we're getting this cool kind of germ look in our text here. We don't want to go too big because we don't want to make it. There we go. That looks pretty good right there. That looks okay. Okay. This is a cool little effect. I just wanted to show you guys uh, so you can see what that preserve opacity checkbox does. Okay. Thanks for watching.